Hi, and welcome to On The Move, a show highlighting what's going on in your community. I'm Jessica Houston, your host. In this episode, we'll attend the 2014 Glendale Fire Recruit Academy graduation. Learn about the free summer concert series at Brand Library and Art Center. Discover the city's award-winning Space 134 project. Find out how the Glendale Youth Alliance can help you prepare for brush fire season. And find out how you can get to know your neighbors and fight crime at this year's National Night Out. On June 12th, the Glendale Fire Department welcomed 14 new members as they graduated from Fire Recruit Academy Class 26. Family and friends were on hand to see the graduates sworn in after 13 weeks of basic training. Uh, welcome to the recruit graduation for Class 26 of the Glendale Fire Department. The newest members of our Glendale Fire family. Ladies and gentlemen, class 26. As mentioned, this has been a 10 month process. 3,000 applicants, and today we have 14 of the best sitting in front of us, soon to become members of the greatest profession in the world. Today's an exciting day for the Glendale Fire Department. Today's a proud day. Today's a day that we work long and hard to get to. Maybe I shouldn't say we, maybe I should say them. I want to start off by thanking you, the family. It's because of you that they are here. Because it was through your support and your love that they were successful. Today, these men and women are ready to serve. They're ready to serve with honor. They're ready to serve with distinction. As we send them out to begin a new phase of their careers, I want you to know that they're well prepared for whatever they face. So for you guys and girl, I encourage each and every one of you to never lose the pride, the passion, and the drive that's burning in your hearts as you sit there right now. Carry that through your career and it will serve you well. And to Chief Scoggins and the Glendale Fire Department, for one, thank you for believing in us. It's a long road to get here, and uh, that road obviously doesn't stop here. As we close our graduation today, I want to leave you with a couple of thoughts. Here in Glendale, we like to keep it simple. We like to keep the thought process pretty simple. And our motto really says a lot to me, comes from the heart. Our motto is community first. As long as we're making decisions that are in the best interest of the community that we served. Recruits, I gotta tell you, if you live by that over the course of your careers, we are always gonna be okay. Glendale Fire Recruit Class 26. You are dismissed. This summer, the Glendale Arts and Culture Commission and the Associates of Brand Library and Arts Center are sponsoring the Sounds on the Plaza Outdoor Concert Series. These free performances will take place in the plaza of the newly renovated Brand Library and Arts Center every Friday evening at 7 p.m. through September 26th. The series features a variety of genres from classical, jazz, and rock to traditional music, dance, and culture from Spain, Africa, and Indonesia. A complete schedule of performances is available on the Library Arts and Culture website under Arts and Culture Commission. So bring your picnic and join us every Friday evening through September for live music and dance, art, and drama on the plaza. On June 12th, the Los Angeles chapter of the American Planning Association recognized the City of Glendale and the Community Development Department with several awards at their annual awards gala. These awards set the City of Glendale apart from other municipalities for its overall excellence and innovative approach to community development. One of these awards was for the Space 134 Vision Plan, a concept study for a freeway cap park over the 134 freeway. Here is principal urban designer Alan Loomis to tell you more. 
Hi, I'm Alan Loomis. I'm the Principal Urban Designer for the City of Glendale in the Planning Section of the Community Development Department. I want to talk to you today about Space 134, which is a very exciting long-range planning project that we're working on that looks at the idea of building a series of parks over the 134 freeway. If you know the 134 freeway in downtown Glendale, you know that it's basically a trench that runs through the middle of town for about a mile. It cuts the city in half and really has a negative impact on a lot of the neighborhoods, the residents that live right next door to the freeway. So the Space 134 concept is basically saying we could just put a roof over the freeway, the same level as all the streets and bridges that cross the freeway today. to make the freeway a tunnel in, uh, for certain portions of the freeway, and on top of that roof, we could build a park. The question is, what kind of park would we like to see? And we really imagine this as a 40-year, maybe even a 50-year project that's going to start with very small steps. The first step we imagine could be just improving the existing pedestrian bridges that cross the freeway today. We could also do that on some of the roadways that cross over the freeway. We could replace the fencing with something more attractive. We could add parkways, we could add trees, we could add landscaping. So even if you're crossing the freeway without the benefit of a park, you at least have a little more green space and feel a little more comfortable. Eventually, those bridges could begin to expand block by block into small neighborhood parks. And as I said, over a 50-year time frame, we could imagine that that would be a 30-acre park for almost a mile long in the heart of the city. It'd be very, very exciting. That next grant that we're hoping to get would start up in the fall, and a big part of that grant is going to be asking the businesses and the residents who live near the freeway to participate in a series of design workshops with our design team, and they can tell us what sort of projects and what kind of park they would like to see. We'll ask you to roll up your sleeves, bring your colored crayons and your markers and your kids and your ideas and help work with us to develop the next phase of Space 134. For more information about Space 134, check out space134.org. The Glendale Youth Alliance, or GYA, is a nonprofit organization and a partnership between government, education, business, and our community. Since its inception in 1993, the GYA has helped thousands of low-income youth get their first jobs and gain valuable skills, preparing them for the workforce. The Summer Brush Clearance Program is for youth ages 14 to 18 to learn life skills, pre-employment training, and paid work experience. The program is funded by the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act and the City of Glendale. On closely supervised teams, the youth spend six weeks clearing brush around the city's hillsides. Let's find out what they are doing. Hi, uh, my name is Adam Gallagher. I'm here with GYA Summer Brush Clearance Program, and we're clearing out this mountain behind me. I'm Stephanie Hura. Um, I'm here with the GYA program, um, helping out for the summer. So all the branches you see, we're cutting them off to prevent fires. So we're doing something good. It's important because it prevents a lot of wildfires that can spark from um, the dry brush that dries up throughout the summer. So we're removing anything green like sumac bushes and um, just really anything that can dry up and be flammable. This is my first job. I'm actually 14 and they actually, uh, the ages are 14 to 18 so I was really excited to be actually working. It's a good program for kids who are younger because not a lot of places are looking to hire them. Um, and it's good work experience, it teaches you teamwork and how to work cohesively with other people. I'm George Barba, I'm a team supervisor for the Summer Brush and this is my second year here. As a team leader, I particularly monitor all the kids while they're working, make sure the tools are play safe, safe conditions, teach them how to uh, work on the field and uh, how to work together as a team. It teaches you how to work together because it puts you in contact with people you normally wouldn't talk to uh, outside of the work setting. Some life skills I've learned is to communicate with others be independent, but also work with your teammates that you have because it's very important when you're working as a team to get things faster. We go to a lot of sites. We go to water reservoirs, parks, um, a lot of uh, off-limit areas where they have a lot of overgrowth or uh, anything that's really flammable. We completely go out, clear it out, um, sweep it out. So if there's a fire chance, there's very minimal and it would be uh, controlled very fast. 
every person has to do their fair share, otherwise it's just more strain on the rest of the people. I like uh, watching the kids grow mainly. When they, they come, they have no experience, they don't know what to expect, their attitude's a bit different, and then, but as soon as they start working, they know how to work with the team, they, they change completely around and it's great to see that. I'm learning a lot, so if I have another job, you know, I'm, I know what they're looking for, what they're expecting, so it's kind of like a learning experience for me. Most of these uh, kids as well, after they graduate high school, they come and join the GYA because they like the experience and then they also want to move up as well. I actually love GYA. It's my first year and I would love to continue coming. For more information on the Glendale Youth Alliance and all GYA programs, please visit glendaleyouthalliance.org or call 818-548-2791. Every year, communities across America come together to take a stand against crime during the annual National Night Out. This year, the event will be on Tuesday, August 5th, and the Glendale Police Department invites all community members to come out to an event in their neighborhood. Here is a brief message to tell you more. The Glendale Police Department invites you and your neighbors to take part in National Night Out on Tuesday, August 5th. This event is an opportunity to meet neighbors, interact with city officials, and form lasting relationships to reduce crime and increase quality of life at the neighborhood level. Be one of the 36 million community members from all 50 states who want to let criminals know that their neighborhoods and cities are taking a stand against crime. For more information, or to host an event in your neighborhood, visit glendalenno.com or call the Glendale Police Department Area Command Office at 818-548-4015. See you for National Night Out on Tuesday, August 5th. That's it for this episode of On The Move. Join us next month as we continue to explore the interesting things happening in the city of Glendale. For the latest updates, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at MyGlendale. You can also stay informed by signing up for our free monthly electronic newsletter, City Connections. Sign up on the city's website. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next month.